Hey, how you doing there again, folks? Me again, of course. Brandon Wenzel, come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, see you folks have a video series videos I do for the line where I go over there try food and drink items. I eat the stuff, I drink stuff. And folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that the time I'm doing this, folks. Anybody else remember that period during the 90s when you had like the run of all the sort of like pulp and noir type superhero movies? You had the Shadow, uh, you had the Rocketeer, uh, ba -ba -ba -ba, the Phantom, Dick Tracy. It was a whole thing. It's a whole. I love that period, man. I own like almost all those movies. They're so good. I love them. I don't care what anybody says. Billy Zane as the Phantom. Come on now. Come on now. The stunts in that movie are phenomenal. But anyway, I'm inside my truck. I'm wearing a cool shirt. I'm going to eat some stuff. I'm going to talk about it. Before I get to that, I'm going to highlight the cool shirt because folks, when I wear a cool shirt, I like to highlight the shirt. What cool shirt am I wearing? Boom! Kuma's Corner shirt. It's all whiffy and spooky looking. Uh, Kuma's Corner, it's a uh, chain of heavy metal burger places, mostly in Illinois. Um, very neat places. You can get some really great burgers. I went over there and did a review recently of... Uh, the ghost burger from them, so look out for that review. And uh, since I was going there anyway, I figured I'd wear the shirt. I got this shirt for free because I want a raffle, but I didn't get to choose the shirt that I wanted, which made me a little bit sad. But it's still a decent shirt. Anyway, folks, what am I trying for y'all today? Well, going along the heroic vibe of things, folks, we're doing... Uh, boom! It is... Marvel Super LXR Hero Hydration Citrus Lemon Lime from Arizona. Yes, indeed, folks. These are a line of, I don't know why they're tied in with Marvel, but they just are. Uh, drinks from Arizona with super hydration and all this stuff. And electrolytes and antioxidants, green tea extract, and all that good stuff. Uh, I've done a couple of these now. I did the watermelon dragon fruit one, and I did the blueberry acai one. Sure, why not? This one is uh, based off the Hulk. Incredible Hulk, in fact. In comparison to the rather regular and average Hulk, who, you know, works a 9-to-5 job. And, you know, he gets by. He's doing all right for himself. But, you know, it's not incredible. Uh, yeah, so I went over there. I finally managed to find these. Figure what the hell, I'll give them a shot. I like to drink things. <laughs> I think most people do. So let's give this one a shot, folks. Let's see how it is. I'm hopeful. Lemon lime I like. Ooh, that smells good. That smells real good. Okay. Doesn't taste quite as good as it smells. I will say that. The smell was like super fragrant, really fresh smelling. This, still good. Still good. I enjoy it. Doesn't have, doesn't have quite the same the same appeal as the, uh, as the scent did. But, it is still good. Um, so it's basically an Arizona tea that they just go over there, put a bunch of different stuff in. Uh, there's no added sugars and stuff. So basically what you're working off of is the lemon-lime flavor, which is something that, you know, Arizona has lots of flavors. I don't think I've ever had a lemon-lime flavor from them. So that's kind of cool. And it's not bad. It's interesting because it's in a tea, sort of almost juice format, which typically when you think about lemon-lime stuff, when you think lemon-lime sodas, you know, your, your Sprites, your, um, your 7-Ups. By the way, I did a uh, comparison video between Cherry Sprite and Cherry 7-Up. You've also got your new ones like Starry, which I did a review for. Go ahead and watch that one. That's the replacement soda for Sierra Mist. But in a tea format, it's really interesting. Because, like, it almost wants to be, like, a 7-Up flavor. It's somewhat similar, but... Since it's obviously based in the tea, it doesn't have that same uh, that same like level of freshness, and obviously it's not carbonated. Um, 
so it, it doesn't have, you know, that, that bite that you get from the carbonation. And I mean, it kind of is what it is. It's sort of, you know, lemon lime tea, but well, with being Arizona, you know, it, it, and I've mentioned this with the other ones too, it borders almost on being more of a juice than really a proper like tea experience. Like if you're expecting a tea experience, I don't think this is going to give that to you. It's closer to a juice. Um, but it's good. I like it. And like I said, it's interesting because it is somewhat familiar tasting. My brain is like, oh, I've had this before. And then half a second later, it's like, oh, wait, I don't know what the fuck this is. That's how this goes. But you can taste the lemon and the lime. You get the contrasting citrus flavors. It gives a little bit of a sourness, a little bit of a tartness. Um, though I would say it's more refreshing than it is tart. It drinks well. It's nice and smooth. I can get down with this. I think for me, I definitely don't like it as much as I like a lemon lime soda. Because even whether it's Sprite or 7-Up, you know, you get the crispness. It's, it's you know, it kind of helps the experience. But it's interesting to have it in a tea format. And if I didn't want something that was carbonated, it'd be interesting to have this as an option. And it does taste good. It's just unusual. But I do like it. In fact, I would say, potentially out of the three that I've had, this one might be my personal favorite. Again, I think it's just because it, because I like lemon lime sodas and I have that familiarity. So even though it's not exactly the same, it's definitely doing its own thing. I just like that combination so much that even though it's in a tea format and it's not carbonated, I can actually get behind it. Yeah, I like it. Two questions have to be asked, though, folks. Would I get it again? Would I recommend it? Yes. Yes. I like this one. I, I like, I've liked all of them, but I, they've been in uh, ascending order. The watermelon dragon fruit one I had was probably my least favorite. I like the blueberry more than that, and I like this one more than that. I still have one to go. I could see, if I ran into this, I could see grabbing this. Because, like I said, it's got sort of the... Somewhat of the freshness of the lemon lime aspect, but you know, without the carbonation, without the sugariness, I, I could I could go with it. Recommending it? I mean, give it a shot, folks. I think uh, you know it's it's like it's like if you've got like lemon lime Gatorade and sports drinks over here, and then you've got like lemon lime sodas over here. It's like kind of at the beginning. It's like the starter Pokemon of uh, lemon lime beverages. But it's definitely worth giving a shot, if for no other reason than it's just interesting. Anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day, spectacular rest of your week, monumental rest of your month, stupendous rest of your year. And folks, if you can go over there and have yourselves a truly lemon-lime-tastic rest of your life. Because, folks, lemon-lime is its one of the best flavor comedy. Whoever came up with that is a fucking super genius. Okay, they should have been, like, president of, like, all the countries. Ushering in a whole new era of uh, humanity. Interesting fun fact, if you go over there and put lemon and lime slices into water, lemon will float, lime will sink. Science! Anyway, following two things, uh, number one, try to bring some positivity in the world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated, but what you do if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time, here's what you're going to do. You're going to try not to be an asshole. Now, folks, that's not always possible. It's just not. There's going to be times when you're frustrated, the world, and... There's just things and going on and just gas prices and bills and all the stuff. It's okay. Take a step back. Try to mitigate the level of assholishness in our lives. Hopefully do better for ourselves and for those around us. Very final thing, folks. Do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there. You're going to find yourself some Marvel Super LXR Hero Hydration, all the stuff. As I have done here today. And maybe like me, you're going to enjoy it. It's going to be a delicious, refreshing beverage. But maybe as you're over there and you're drinking it, start thinking to yourself, you know what? You know what movie I haven't watched in a long time? The Rocketeer. 
You go over there, you decide you're going to watch the Rocketeer while drinking your beverage. And while you're doing so, maybe some people come into the room, they're like, what are you watching? And you're like, the Rocketeer. They start watching it. It creates a cascade effect. More and more people appreciate the gloriousness that is the Rocketeer. Biff, bam, boom, maybe 20 some odd years after it came out, we finally get the trilogy that it was supposed to be. There were supposed to be three movies, damn it. Love the Rocketeer. Such a good movie. Or conversely, maybe just watch, watch the Rocketeer and drink what the hell ever and have a good old time. Yeah. Bye.